Hey guys, for today's multiplication lesson, we are going to be looking at the counting story called One is a Snail and Ten is a Crab. So before we get on to our activity today, let's have a listen to the story. One is a Snail, Ten is a Crab by April Pulley Sayer and Jeff Sayer, illustrated by Randy Cecil. To the beach. One is a snail. This is a snail's foot. Two is a person. One, two. Three is a person and a snail. Four is a dog. One, two, three, four. Five is a dog and a snail. Six is an insect. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven is an insect and a snail. Eight is a spider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine is a spider and a snail. Ten is a crab. Crabs have ten feet. Their front two feet also have a second job as claws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is a crab, and that means twenty is two crabs. Thirty is three crabs, or Ten people and a crab. Forty is four crabs or ten dogs. Fifty is five crabs or ten dogs and a crab. Sixty is six crabs or ten insects. Seventy is seven crabs or 10 insects and a crab. 80 is eight crabs or 10 spiders. 90 is nine crabs or 10 spiders and a crab. So 100 is 10 crabs or if you're really counting slowly, 100 snails. The end. Had some fantastic examples of multiplication. So you can see at the end they were looking at 100 and they had 100 snails. So if we say that a snail has got one foot, then 100 groups of one. 100 times 1 equals 100 feet. Or when they were looking at the 10 crabs, each crab has got 10 feet. So 10 groups of 10 feet equals 100 feet as well. Today for your activity, we are going to be having a look at how many feet or legs there are in a group. So this is my example. It says there are only one, there is only one creature on the beach and 10 legs. Which creature could this be? So the first one I could do is probably the easiest. I know that the crab over here has got 10 legs. So it could be a crab. And I've got one group because there's just one crab of 10. So one group of 10 is 10. Now I don't need to do any kind of addition for this one because there's nothing to add it to. It is just one crab, which is one group of 10 and it equals 10. But what other animals 
could it be? What other creature could it be that has 10 legs on the beach? Let's have a look now at the dog. Could it be dogs on the beach? I'm smaller again. So this dog here we can see has four legs. I'm going to write four. So one group of legs has, is four. And then if I grab another one, it's going to be four and four. Hmm, that's not ten. And if I add another dog to it, another group of four, then it becomes four plus four plus four. And I know from my skip counting that that's twelve. So it can't be a dog if there is only ten legs. So let's try maybe a person and we'll see. So here's one group of legs with the person. We know that they have got two legs. And then if I grab another one here, well that's another two legs. So I can add another two and I'm up to four. And I can add another two legs. So three groups of ten legs, uh, so three groups of two legs is going to get me to six. And then another two legs, another group of two legs is going to get me to eight. Oh, and then if I add one more, I have oops, two, I have got two, four, six, eight, ten. So it could be a person that's on the beach because I could have ten legs and it could be five people. So it is five groups. I'm just going to do the R. Groups of two makes ten. So there was one creature on the beach and that was the person. And there were five of them. So two plus two plus two plus two plus two makes ten legs. Now I wonder if it could be any other creatures. I know over here I've got, hmm, I've got an insect and I know that my insect has got six legs. So it can't be one and I know that if I put two insects and have two groups then that's going to be 12. So it definitely can't be an insect. And the same with the spider. That's got eight legs already. So one would be eight and two would be 16. So I can't get to 10 with my spider, but my snail might work. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, they're not gonna fit, eight, nine, and this one I'm just gonna skip here. So here I've got 10 groups of legs and I have got one in each leg. So one leg in each group. Snail just has one. So I've got one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one is 10 groups. Oops, here's my dodgy writing with my mouse. 10 groups of 1 equals 10. So today your task is to click add response. And I am going to give you the same thing. There is only one creature on the beach. There's only one type of creature. But I'm going to give you a different amount of legs. And I would like you to find all the different groups that you can make find that number, your number will be 24. So see if you can do the repeated addition. So find the pictures and then oop, underneath write the repeated addition. So how many legs in each picture plus the next picture and then down the bottom you need to write how many groups of and how many in each of those groups 
to get to 24. I can't wait to see what you come up with and hopefully you'll be able to find at least four different creatures that it might be. Good luck, guys.